banning the technology of the blockchain or banning crypto or not even banning, but regulating it overly strongly so people can't access it or whatever it may be, just not providing that clarity. It's like banning wheels. Now, heading on to some more fun stuff. So this, we, we do have some SEC stuff we have to talk about. And this is going to get entertaining. We're going to talk about hashtag fire Gary Gensler and a lot more. But uh, if you guys are here and enjoying the stream, hit the like. We very much appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you all for being here. Um, so we had some developments first off come out with this Ripple XRP and SEC case that's now, I think, nearing what, like three years since it's been going on. Um so the other day, how this kind of started is an old SEC internal email, an email that was back and forth between the SEC um, has come to light. The, the judge in the case basically has outed this email that the SEC vehemently was asking to, to not come out. They did not want it to come out, which should tell you something. Uh, the former chair, this is before Gary Gensler, but um, the former chair basically said that Bitcoin, Ethereum, even named some other tokens as well, could easily basically start out as securities, but ultimately be considered commodities based on how the market views them. And even more telling, uh, I mean, not, not even just telling, I mean, deliberately a statement, uh, th they admitted to deliberately making speeches about the topic that try to confuse everyone and give less detail. And what I mean is in terms of how they are considering these assets as you know, commodities or securities. Uh, well, no shit. I mean, we've all seen that pretty much every day and every single time that Gary Gensler now speaks about it. But yeah, right. I mean, now we have proof in these emails that the judge just did release is, yeah, I mean, they, they, they have admitted to purposely, I don't want to say leading people astray, but purposely not leading anybody anywhere to create right. that confusion. Just um, muddy in the water. Yeah. 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 So, so let me ask you this. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we, I mean, again, we're seeing it in plain sight. These are a couple years old emails prior to Gary Gensler, who obviously shares this same message, but what could an XRP case win mean for, I'm not really concerned about ripple. I know you're not either, but mean overall for crypto and some of this legislation and regulation over the next few years, because we got more to talk about about Gary Gensler and the SEC in a minute here, but I mean, nobody's taking this stuff seriously anymore. So what, what could an XRP win me? Well, it, it means a lot. It, it means a lot for the, the rest of crypto. It sets a precedent for uh, things to come, especially because, in my opinion, Ripple kind of passes a lot of legs of the Howey test. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is a common enterprise um, there is a centralized figure at the helm, you know, there is an organization. So there's a lot of things where, you know, obviously in order to be deemed a commodity, you want to fail the Howey test. Right. Um, you know, does it do all of these things? And, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not a Ripple fan, but, you know, I am a crypto fan. So obviously I want to see everybody do well. I'm not one of the ones that, I don't hold it, so I hate it kind of thing. I, I don't have that mentality. Um, I know a lot of people do, but, you know, I, I am pulling for XRP Ripple to, 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 you know, to win this case only because of it. Um, but like I said, if they're deeming that a commodity, then there's a lot of other things that are way more decentralized and, you um, Mm -hmm. DeFi projects that don't fall into a lot of those categories that Ripple does. And like I said, if they win the case, it sets a lot of precedent uh, moving forward in case they do come at any other any other coin community, whatever it may be. So, yeah, I, I'm pulling for them. You know, like we said, they're, they're muddy in the water on purpose. And, you know, I'm just going to kind of throw out my theory now while we're talking about this, because... The Coinbase, the Binance, um, and we're going to throw FTX into this bunch too. And mm -hmm. I think one of the reasons why Sam was working, now I haven't heard anybody talk about this, and it's kind of something I just kind of thought about. And um, the one of the reasons why I think Sam was working so closely with them was I, I think the government has realized how illiquid that their markets really are, right? Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of money out there. We are, 
exchanging a lot of money that is just debt um, from other countries from, you know, but there's really not much liquidity. Um, you know, they're not giving loans anymore. So they've stopped the printing of money. Uh, but realizing people have pulled their money out of banks, a lot of banks. Um, and now that they have other choices, know that they're going into crypto. I feel like their plan is almost to back these guys into a corner and kind of create crypto banks that the government regulates that has liquidity um, and possibly treat the system um, in that sense. So, you know, it's just like I said, just a theory. I haven't heard anybody talking about it, but it was just something I was thinking about the other day is so why wouldn't they do that? Like, why wouldn't they push these people into a corner and then make them a deal and say, all right, listen, here's what we're going to do. You're, you're going to operate under a bank um, in order to do this stuff. You're going to get banking license and all that stuff. And not to mention FTX is supposed to relaunch at the end of this year. Right. Uh, so, yeah. you know, all of this kind of plays into that. Now I hope Brian Armstrong and CZ and these guys say, no, screw you. We're going to fight you on this. Hmm. Um, but I, I just kind of felt like that was possibly originally part of the plan. And I don't know. What do you think? Does it sound like something, um, you know, that would would work? And then in that same sense, it would help them launch their CBDC, right? Um, if they had control of these crypto exchanges as crypto banks, um, they could easily launch their CBDCs that way. So, you know, it was just something, like I said, totally speculation. And I was just kind of throwing weird things against the wall and, and wondering, and I hadn't even brought it up to you in, in, in private at all. So what do you think about that theory? Well, clearly the SEC, I mean, clearly the SEC and all these entities do think that they know, I mean, you can see it written all over Gary Gensler's face. Like they, this war is already lost. Like this is just plain and simple, you right. know, um, posturing until delaying the inevitable basically you know we've talked about it before like banning the technology of the blockchain or banning crypto or not even banning but regulating it overly strongly so people can't access it or whatever it may be just not providing that clarity it's like banning wheels or you know we've talked about like the drug war before and things like that if people are going to smoke weed people are going to smoke weed that's just going to be the way it is and here we are with you know perfectly legal weed to purchase wherever you want to in most states now so um that's just what we're going to see here i mean it sucks i mean there's going to be government red tape and you know less government is typically better but yeah, I mean, I could definitely see what you're saying. Uh, and that that's the other thing we can't lose either is how do they get their piece of the pie as best right. they can out of this? How do they limit right. the transfer of wealth as best they can? And how do they retain some from this? Yeah, because they know? definitely don't want to give up control or mm -hmm. the ability to make something off of it. Now, obviously, people are, if they're, you know, paying their taxes like, like you should. I'm not saying anything against doing that. Uh, but how, how do they how do they still get a piece of the pie? I mean, and and that was kind of what I came up with. Mm -hmm. And and as far as the you know muddying the water, it, it just gives them a another in. I think that that they can get a piece of it and kind of you know eventually strong arm them into into that situation. So 